New start for a business mired in controversy. The former owner of Affordable Towing is in the Greene County Jail tonight. Michael Hoffman sat down tonight with the current general manager of the business to see where the company goes from here. The owner of Affordable Towing never expected to see jail time when we spoke to him in March. He admitted to violating the Clean Air Act by removing hardware on his trucks. He wanted to dodge maintenance costs. We just basically took him off and, and did away with him. But now Cleveland resides in the Greene County Jail. He violated the terms of his release. It seems he just kept using the very trucks he was told to put in park. And the current general manager says she doesn't know why. I honestly can't be 100% honest with you on why we did that, why he did that. I guess because he was busy and he felt that he needed to use the trucks to serve the people of Springfield. Right now I'm at Affordable Towing's East Florida Street location. If you take a look at these trucks here, these are a couple of the trucks that landed Dennis Cleveland in hot water. The general manager says these are parked here until the EPA okays them to get back on the street. But they tell us they want everyone to know they do have other trucks and they are still open for business. I know there was a lot of false information that we were shut down. We had some phones. We had, did had some phone issues for a day, so we, our phone systems didn't work, but we had everything up and going. Our website's up and active. Everything's still, we're still trying to run and fun, folk, still run and be productive to the people of Springfield, Branson, Joplin, the surrounding areas. She says she and her company have an obligation to the people of the Ozarks, and the lack of trucks available to them may result in longer wait times for their customers. Because customers, we, they expect us to be there. They want us there. If it's hot, they're tired, they're broke down, they want us to be able to respond faster, and unfortunately, we're not able to do that. We have to give them a longer ETA. For KY3 News, I'm Michael Hoffman. Cleveland's attorneys have until August 1st, that's Tuesday, to file a response to an investigative report.